Hey what's up there YouTube, I have another new video for you today. It is on the ROM I'm running currently on my Android phone. It is called AOKP, Android Open Kang Project, I believe. Toro Build 15. Build 16 is out, but I didn't see a big reason to upgrade for it. The new features aren't too need worthy for me and you have to completely wipe your data and I don't feel like setting that all up again so I'm not going to do that right now anyway the ROM brings a lot of stuff that you wish an Android phone had um, stock as you can see I have these nice widgets this might have been a theme I actually downloaded I'm not completely sure yet. I downloaded that right from the get-go. But either way, it's a theme for this ROM specifically. And it, as you can see, it has all these nice toggles. And you can go into the actual settings and um, get more with that. Like, you could, for instance, take out Rotate and add Bluetooth, or you might just be able to add Bluetooth or take out GPS or Wi-Fi and stuff and as you can see we have the nice LTE toggle so if you don't really need your LTE which does drain battery more why not just turn it off and toggle it back on easily without having to go into your settings and one thing that is different is this takes it away it doesn't bring you back to the actual settings anymore so you do have to do that manually. <clears throat> and here's where all the settings are for the ROM specifically. I probably just clicked the wrong thing. Um, you go into the settings and at the top you have ROM control. ROM control has a bunch of different stuff to it. You can change the general UI, as you can see, you can change the menu settings, menu visibility, the changing the navigation bar layout, or the navigation bar tint. As you can see, I've done that. Mine's kind of like a lime green-ish color right now. Mm -hmm. And I added the search bar function, because um, for capacity buttons does look a little bit better than just three in the center and they're not as big so you can change the color by going into the navigation bar tint and stuff like that and there's a whole bunch of other settings you can do like I've changed as you can see I have my battery and that's my battery my time in the middle of the navigation bar and I also have uh, the if I can get it right there I have the battery increments kind of in and off to the side a little bit in the battery and then yeah you have all these power functions like for instance when you turn off your phone 4G will also turn off so it's not wasting battery I think it does that after about 10 or 15 seconds and you have power saver you can change your LED options if you don't have the app light flow which I have another video on you can change clock, battery, general and all this other stuff with the status bar and things like that also the ROM is really fast like the smoothness of it is just absolutely crazy. I was running Axiom 2.4 before this and I always figured I would just stick with that but honestly there's no reason to anymore plus the support for that is discontinued hopefully Theory ROM will come back but for now he's gone which is really sad that people made him want to leave like that Anyway, here was a quick review of the 
Android app for the Galaxy, not Android app, Android RAW for the Galaxy Nexus. This is CDMA version, LTE, if you didn't catch that by the LTE toggle. It's not GSM, there is a GSM version, I believe. And you can either get this one, which will come with some bugs, probably. I haven't noticed any yet. Or you can get the Milestone version, which is the previous version, but with no bugs. And that's about it for now. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.